Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday, December 30th, 2022. And today I'm going to talk about four uh, New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day horror films. Three I have seen, one I have not. I'm planning on watching that tomorrow. So I'm going to get into it here. Um, I'm sure most of you have already seen some of these, at least three out of the four that I'm going to talk about. I'm sure there's other ones that I don't have in my collection. I think there's one called Antisocial. I don't own it. I have never seen it. I heard it's okay. But let me get into it. So the first one here is a classic. Everyone's pretty much seen this one. If you haven't, I recommend it. Uh, this particular release, I think, is out of print. But there's another one that's available. I want to say Scorpion releasing maybe. I know it's it was uh, featured on Run and Flix's website at one point. So we got Terror Train here. This is the uh, Scream Factory release. Uh, this is from 1980, 97 minutes. This is directed by Roger uh, Spottiswood. Uh, obviously, this stars Jamie Lee Curtis. David Copperfield, Ben Johnson, and Hart Bachner. It says, The boys and girls of Sigma Phi, some will live, some will die. Take an ex excursion into terror with Jamie Lee Curtis in this classic shocker from director Roger Spittis, Spottis Wood. Uh, he directed Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, I'm not sure what else he directed. Uh, it's New Year's Eve, and a group of college co-eds have planned a masquerade bash aboard a chartered train. Chartered train. Uh, what they didn't plan on was a knife-wielding psycho would crash the party and begin slaughtering the guests one by one. Uh, who is this brutal costumed killer? Could it be the mysterious magician? With a talent for swords play, a former frat pledge with an axe to grind, or any number of other guests, both invited and uninvited. So yeah, um, so it's like it's pretty much a who done it type thing. Um, I like this movie. I know some people think it's pretty good too. Uh, there is a remake out on Tubi right now. I have not seen it, and I heard it's terrible. So uh, don't watch that. Just just watch this original one. Uh, next up is one of my favorites. Now, it doesn't necessarily uh, take place on New Year's, but it's it has to do with New Year's Eve. And that is Bloody New Year. Now, I haven't opened this particular release. I have seen it a couple times on Tubi over the years. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. But this is from 1986, directed by Norman J. Warren. It's basically, it's about a, a group of kids, um, well, probably just young, well, not quite kids, but teenagers, young adults. Uh, they discover themselves stranded on a robot, robot, remote island. I was going to say robot island, remote island. Uh, and the only structure that's there is an old hotel, uh, which is... Looks like it's been stuck in 1959, and it still has its Christmas and New Year's decorations up, even though it's the middle of summer. Um, they take shelter for the evening, weird events start to occur, and then each one of them gets picked off one by one. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very strange film, and then the ending is, uh, there's a twist ending, and it's just really strange, but... I dug this film quite a bit, so I definitely recommend it to you guys. I'm not totally familiar with the cast here, though. Um, Nikki Brooks, Daniel James, Mark Powley. I think that name starts out, sounds familiar. And Susie Atchison. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so highly recommend this one if you guys check it out. Um, I don't know if it's still available on Tubi to watch for free, but definitely pick it up from vinegar syndrome or at least online somewhere uh the next one here everyone seems to have seen it or own it anyway uh this is the scream factory version of uh new year's evil there is a kino lorber re-release out there so if you guys pick that up 
Uh, I'm not sure if I think there's a couple of different special features on that one. I just stuck with this one. I've had this one for years. This is a different kind of New Year's resolution. Uh, did I say it was from 1980? Because it's from 1980 as well. Same thing for a terror train. Uh, Diane Blaze Sullivan is a host of a national televised punk rock show on New Year's Eve. She is receiving calls from a mysterious killer who tells her of his plans to off someone at midnight in each of America's major time zones, and she will be the last. So this movie is weird and crazy. Um, so this this particular movie uh, stars Roz Kelly, Kip Niven, Grant Kramer from Killer Clowns from Outer Space fame. Uh, Louisa Moritz, uh, I can't say this person's name right, Tafe O'Connell, and Terry Copley. So, um, this movie's creepy, especially the, the killer. He wears this weird mask. It's so strange and creepy. Uh, get another commentary with the director, Emmett Alston, in this, and then interviews with some of the um, direct the actors and the director of photography. Um, I didn't show anything on the inside on anything, but the reverse artwork on this is pretty cool. Pop this out. Yeah, it's like a clock with um, someone screaming in the middle of it with the killer, and then the disc has the same artwork on it too. So those are the three ones I have seen. This one I have not seen. Um, I think it's uh, it's in Spanish. This is a Spanish uh, film with English subtitles. Uh, and it's called A Night of the Virgin. This is one of the best horror horror movies according to cult projections. I've never seen it, so I can't tell you. It says Evil Has No Gender. Uh, this horror comedy... Um, uh, so in this horror comedy, at a New Year's Eve party, Nico, a naive 20-year-old, sets out to lose his virginity at all costs that same night. In the middle of the party, his gaze crosses Medea, a cunning and attractive mature woman. So it doesn't really say what exactly happens in this film. Um, it's quite long, too. I believe it's... Where is it? 116 minutes long. So almost two hours. Uh, like I said, I've never seen it, so I couldn't tell you if it's good or not. It looks kind of weird on the back here from what I'm seeing. These little digital stills. And he looks really freaking weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's... Um, I'm not sure where this film uh, came from, where it was filmed. It just says uh, Spanish with English subtitles. Uh, you got Javier Bodayo, Miriam Martin, Victor Amilbia, Amilbia. Yeah, I'm not familiar with any of these actors. And it's directed by Roberto San Sebastian. I'm not familiar with him either. Um, as you can see, I haven't even opened it yet because it's still sealed on the top. But the artwork is on the disc is the same as the cover, so... So that is everything for this video, guys. Like I said, there's there's a couple more um, New Year's uh, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve films out there that I don't own. Uh, one that comes to mind is Antisocial. Um, at least I think it's I believe that is a uh, New Year's um, film. So here are my picks for New Year's. Uh, horror films. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll catch you guys probably tomorrow or sometime, you know, next week. But uh, take care and have a safe New Year's Eve if you all go out. And if not, stay home. That's, that's also a good option. Either way, I will see you guys later and I will definitely see you in the new year. So take care.